Hello again, everyone. It's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with an AutoLoseDryDocs.com. And uh, in one of my later videos, I talked about my super stand and uh, I want to make a dedicated video on it because I just find it absolutely invaluable to me for transporting boats to and from the pond, particularly if you've got one that is somewhat sizable. So let's take a look at what we did and maybe this is something that you'd like to build for yourself. So what we've actually got here as a foundation or basis for this stand is uh, this little painter's stand. And you can get these on Amazon like I did. This is a gorilla ladder stand. I think it was about 80 bucks. I'll put the link in the description below. We did a few modifications to this. Uh, we got some aluminum channel, bolted it to the uh, side of these legs, and then mounted these rollers on here. And I'll show you why in a moment. And then on the back, we've got more of these angle brackets and then two big roller wheels in here. So uh, in practical application, you would put your boat down there, strap it down with these adjustable straps like that. And uh, once that's secured, you would roll this up to your vehicle like this, it's nice and easy to roll. Um, just push this button in, fold in the leg, and then you could put that in the back of your car or your trailer or whatever it is. And you'll notice these little roller wheels are here. So now what you can actually do is pick up the, the back and then you're gonna do the same thing back here, roll that in, this is on the back and you just lift it up, roll it forward, and it'll sit stable without moving in the back of your vehicle. This will hold, I think, something like 300 pounds or something crazy like that. Um, the big thing for me was just uh, being able to transport the boat that's heavy and bulky a longer distance without breaking my back. And uh, it was one of the bigger submarines that I had. I think it was maybe that giant astute that I had or something. It weighed like 70 pounds and I had to carry it about 400 meters to the pond. And I said that was going to be the end of it. So <laughs> this is what we ended up with. I probably ended up having about $120 into it. Well worth it in my estimation. Uh, if you're serious about going to and from the pond, if you got a big boat and you're always struggling with transport, I'd say this is probably something that you're going to want to look into. So I hope you enjoyed this little overview of the Nautilus Dry Docks Super Stand. With that, we're going to let you go. If you like what you saw, hit like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Drop some comments below. If you've got a better solution than this or something a little bit different, love to hear from you too. With that, We'll let you go. Again, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Dry Docks. You have a great day and catch you next time.